Hey everyone, it's Ben, and today we're going to take a look at a great pair of trekking poles from Fox Ellie. Stick with me, you're watching Living Survival. You can see if you have to come up some stuff or down some stuff like that, how beneficial hiking poles can be. I like using them even on the flat paths. It helps me keep my posture upright and I move along a lot faster being able to stabilize my load, especially with the heavy pack. I don't have a very heavy pack on today, but certainly with the heavy pack or going up and down hills, they are super advantageous. So while that fire is burning down, let's talk about hiking poles. I think they're a overlooked piece of kit that everyone should consider, especially if you hike or backpack a lot. Even if you camp a lot, they are a great piece of kit to have. They're multi-purpose in that you could definitely use them for you know walking and hiking and backpacking. They help keep your back straight. They help me move along faster no matter what terrain I'm on. And then obviously they do help you up inclines and declines, but they also help you uh, carry the weight on your back again they help you stand up straight and evenly distribute that load especially when you're on uneven terrain so not only can you use them for that but you can use them to set up a shelter as well I've used them at both ends of a tarp just hook the little uh, tarp loops through the ends here you know and just place them on the ground and use your tie outs to uh, stabilize them you can use them that way just to pitch a quick a-frame shelter or you could use them with a hammock as I've also done to set your hammock up in porch mode in the daytime or if you need a little bit more air underneath your hammock so they're definitely multi-purpose I keep a set in my car and I'm really liking this set from Fox Ellie now I reviewed a headlamp from Fo Fox Ellie it was a great headlamp I ended up giving mine to a buddy he used it on this past uh, camp out that we did and it's still working great so they do make some good um, items and they're affordable items these come in at seventy dollars and they're carbon fiber so they're really lightweight which is something i really like about them and they have a really good um, clamp system or tension system unlike some other ones that just snap together you can fold them up and then they just pull out and snap and sometimes you'll get a little bit of play in them these have no play because they have these sort of twist locks or these clamp locks um, two of them throughout the poles so when you fold these down they are very small they're not the smallest set that I've seen out there but they do fold down relatively small so you can fold them both down keep them in the back of your car like I do easily hook them to a pack I mean that's definitely small enough to hook to the outside of the pack and then they're infinitely adjustable and they do adjust out to I think 55 or 56 inches so with other brands you have to specify whether you want the uh, small medium or large with these they're pretty much just one size fits all 
And I like that because taller people can utilize them uh, very easily. I guess a tree just decided to fall in the woods and I did hear it. These you can adjust indefinitely and they do have the markings on the side. So once you find your correct height, which is usually you just want your elbow to be at a 90 degree, then you can lock them in place. And it's very easy to do using this little quick lock here. I don't find that they come undone. You can tension it to be tighter or looser. So that works really well. They come with a few different tips. I just use the tungsten carbide uh, tips for pretty much any surface that I'm on rather than pavement, but I don't necessarily uh, need hiking sticks when I'm on uh, pavement. They do come with two separate baskets. These are the sort of three season baskets, and then they come with the larger snow baskets as well. Another thing I really like is the cork handle, and they have this foam handle. So generally you'll get one or the other up top, but it's nice to have these so that if you are going up an incline, you can and, you know choke down on the pole or if you're going down a hill you can choke up on the pole and you have a comfortable grip throughout they are pretty rugged I don't uh, they're not wearing out on me I've used them uh, a fair amount since I got them they also have a, uh, a strap here which is nice I like to a lot of times just rest my hand and then just sort of hang my hand rather than grab on. Sometimes your hand will get tired over, uh, you know, over a period of time and you can just rest your hand in there and just sort of hold on to the pole and move along that way. So I like that the adjustment is sort of hidden up here in the, uh, the top of the grip. You pull it out, then you adjust it, then you can just push it right back in, which is nice. So it's not along your wrist here, which I've seen with other brands and that can, you know, rub on your wrist or whatever when you're moving along not the case with these so now that i got some nice coals going there i'm just going to toast up this bread it's got butter on the other side there all right so those are nice and toasted And you could use Swiss, but I like pepper jack. Put some pepper jack cheese on there. Let that melt. And there we have it, my version of a Reuben. So these poles are super lightweight, seven ounces I believe for the pair. They, uh, again, they fold down really small. One thing that I'd like to see, although they do have a stop mark here at each of the sections, you can pull it all the way out. So that's sometimes a pain if you want to quickly deploy them. You can pull, you know, pull them all the way out. So it'd be nice if they had some feature in there to make that so that wouldn't happen. But you can just pull them out to whichever length you want. And then you just clamp down the quick lock. If the quick lock isn't uh, tensioned enough, you can just uh, turn that, turn that uh, screw a little bit. And then you're good to go. Like I said, there isn't any play. And they're very, very lightweight. Very comfortable as far as the trekking poles that I've used in the past. So they do also come with these snow baskets. They're a little bit wider, helpful in the winter time. You could just unscrew the smaller ones and then screw these right on, and that would be helpful in the snow. And then they also do come with several other tips. These, I guess, would be useful for if you were walking on pavement. And uh, these have just a little bit of arch to them. You could use these on pavement or on gravel or grass or something like that. Like I said, I just use the uh, tungsten carbide ones. They work fine for me. The poles also come with this storage bag, would be handy for 
uh, when you're storing them in the house or in the vehicle, for example. I just pitch them in the back of the car without the storage case, but I can certainly find some other uses for this. So if you enjoy hiking or backpacking and you've never tried trekking poles, give this pair a shot. They're affordable and they work really, really well. And I promise you, you'll never want to leave without them when you go on a long hike. So of course, I'm going to leave some links below to Fox Alley's website. I'm also going to leave an Amazon link so you guys can purchase a set of your own. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Please give it a big thumbs up for me. Make sure you share this video to your friends and family who might be interested on your social media. And don't forget to click that red subscribe button and that notification bell and get notified of new videos.